Iglesia Filipina Independiente Featuring Dices of the Bar The work of the Diocese of Davao could be traced way back in the year 2009. The Diocese was originally called the Diocese of Southern Mindanao, and in the year 2009, it was divided and created two new dioceses, namely Diocese of Davao and Diocese of Coronado. The Diocese comprised the Aita churches in the provinces of Davao Oriental, the first diocesan bishop of Davao is the Right Reverend Dai Kim from 2009 to 2013. During the time of Bishop Dai Kim Jr., together with the clergy initiated the program C, Spiritual Enhancement Through Education Development that helps the members to be educated and understand their role as member of the church. In 2013, the Right Reverend Danny Dapita acted as interim bishop of the diocese and was elected as official diocesan bishop during the special convention in 2014. Bishop Dapita, together with the diocese, initiated the creation of Freedoms, Center for Religious Education, Advocacy and People's Sanctuary, located at the Cathedral of the Bow, of which serves as the center for its continuing ministry to the people. The diocese, through the leadership of Bishop the Pitan, proposed its program based on the TYRP and TYSP and strengthened the stewardship program of the church. The diocese of the Bow is composed of 12 parishes, 8 missions, and 82 chapels. The diocese was divided into three deaneries, namely Deanery of the Vow, Deanery of Sulu, and Deanery of Jensen. The diocese has 13 active clergy, two retired, four seminary graduates, and two seminarian from SPTS and ACTS. The parishes and Missions The Cathedral of the Risen Lord, F. Torres State, Davao City, St. Ruth Mission, Alegria Alabes, Sarangani. St. Ruth Mission, Manate Malungon, Sarangani. Our Lady of Salvation Parish, Managanay, Davao, Oriental. Holy Cal Parish, Bawi, General Santo City. St. Mary the Virgin Mission, Guayan, General Santo City. New Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, Mula, General Santo City. St. Mark the Evangelist Parish. Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage Parish, Matthew Sarangani. Holy Cross Mission, Malabog, Pakipato District, Davao City. St. Louis Parish, Malalang, Davao del Sur. St. Vincent Conner Mission, Malandag, Malungin, Sarangani. St. Ruth Parish, Mapagma, Balibanay, Davao, Oriental. Christ the King Parish, New Mabuhay, General Santos City. Holy Parish, Ilumolok, South Cotabato. St. Ruth Parish, Tulok, Davao de Sur. St. Agustin of Tipo Mission, Ola, Davao City. St. Vincent Ferrer Mission, Santa Maria, Davao, Occidental. Holy Child Parish, San Roque Labanal, General Santos City. St. Joseph Parish, Kamba, Sanzani. Clergy and Workers. Danny Dapitan, Dicesan Bishop. Reverend Dottorati Mantecino Jr., Cathedral Canon, Cathedral of the Bow, and Cal Malabog Mission. Reverend Benedicto Bacals, Draw Cathedral of the Bula, and Royal Mission. Reverend Dennis C. McCurry, Colomolo Parish, and Fatima Parish. Reverend Dexter D. Bacuri, Malala Parish, and Santa Maria Mission. Reverend Michel John D. Lina, Yamba Parish. Parish and Mapagma Parish. Reverend Eusebio Peña Jr., 
Awing Parish and Maasim Parish. Reverend Ariston N. Raimundo, Makar Parish and Alegria Mission. Reverend Apollo Salazar, New Mabuhay Parish. Deacon Raven Arwin Inguito, Malabog Mission. Our four seminary graduates, Brother Hijel Estrebilia, Brother Christ John Pap, Brother John Eric Gimante, and Brother Julian Rahan. Our seminarians in both St. Paul's Theological Seminary and Aglipay Theological Seminary, Brother Dennis Dallos and Sister Reina Reyes. The Diocese of Davao has an estimated of 6,500 members. Plans and programs of the Diocese. First, strengthening the Christian giving and the whole program of the stewardship. Fully implement of Sunday school and vocation church school in each parishes and mission. The continue vocation campaign for young male and female who are willing to enter the seminar. Fourth, strengthening all the committees in order to formulate programs to be used in the life of the church. Fifth, to secure all parishes and missions documents pertaining to land donations and title. The diocese is doing her best to become consistent to its vision and goals according to its Uswag Davao.